We've got barbecue back here. You're all invited. Welcome to the Sloopcast. How are you doing today, Kyle? I'm doing all right, Jared. How are you doing today? You know, I just realized whenever I'm doing the intro, my brain is off. I've said it so many times at this point. I've said it so many times at this point that when I go to do the intro, like my brain is just off. It's it's kind of like when you're driving and like your brain's just not writing any of your commute to memory. It's that. I feel like it's every episode, at least once, at least once an episode. And how long have I been doing? Because I haven't done that intro during the entire run of the podcast, Kyle. Mm -mm. But I've been doing it for a while. I've been doing it for a long while. I, since 2019, at least. Since 2017. Yeah. Since that 2017, sounds, since is, is, October, since October of 2017. Was it October? Was it November? It was October. You sure? Oh, goddamn sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You, you know what I'm going to do then? I'm not going to question you about it then. All right. Good. Good. Great. Is, has it happened on October 7th against Maryland? Okay. <laughs> Did I... Did I, did I start it right away after the hit? Not right away. That's why I said October, not the uh, immediate. Okay. Just... All, right. all right. All right. All right. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> all, all right, right Kyle. Uh, we are doing a update, a recruiting update for the 2024 class. The 2024 class, we did a whole mock class. Um, was it last week? Was it two weeks ago? It was two weeks ago, right? Mm -hmm. We did a mock recruiting class for the 2023 class. Um, we, we aren't going to do something silly like do an entire mock class for 2024. That's that's too far out. That's silly. We aren't going to do yeah. that. But uh, we do want to sort of revisit some names. We haven't talked about the 2024 class in a long time, um, not in any details. So you know, I think we did a primer a while back, maybe back in January. Um, maybe February a while back, but so it was way overdue to sort of jump back in and, and not a primer we're past primer territory, but uh, a revisit an update on uh, where Ohio state's at with some of these 2024 prospects. So Kyle, um, you have the notes in front of you. Where do you want to start? Well, I guess we'll start. We'll start from the top down. Let's let's start with the most important position: mm -hmm. the offensive lineman. No, no I thought you were going to. It's, it's the quarterback. I thought you. Were, I thought you were going to say offense. See, I was so sure you were going to say quarterback that I lined up my. Oh, I thought you were going to say offensive lineman joke. Didn't even listen to what you said, and then immediately went into, oh, I thought you were going to say offensive lineman. Didn't even listen to you. Just launched into the joke. Didn't matter what you said. What am I going to do with you, Jared? Just, <laughs> just, I'm just going to. I'm just, just going to quit. Push the mic away. And I'm just going to let you talk. Just go. How is that different than any other recruiting episode we do? <laughs> All right, quarterbacks, hey, yo. Jared. Start with the quarterbacks. Um, last time we talked about 2024, it, it felt like it was all about Jaden Davis. Jaden Davis, da Jaden Davis, <laughs> stop hating on everyone's favorite host. I know he's talking to me. Um, it was all about Jaden Davis last time we talked. Um, things with Jaden Davis seems to have cooled off a bit, uh, which is unfortunate. He is the top-ranked quarterback in the class. Um, but, you know, there are lots of rumors as to why things cooled off with Ohio State. Um, I don't know any of them to be facts, so I don't think I'm going to spread any of those rumors. Um, so when we're looking at the 2024 class in regards to quarterbacks, so think 2024, think quarterback, think Dylan Rayola. Uh, he is out of Chandler, Arizona. Um, he is he's not the number one quarterback in the country. But he is still the eighth best player in the country and coming in at number three on the quarterback rankings. Um, 
now, but that's if you're looking at the composite score. Kyle, if you're looking at the 24 sports proper rankings, their actual rankings, he is 1-1-1. One, one, one. Number one player, number one quarterback, number one kid out of Arizona. Yep, yep. So there's uh, obviously a bit of a difference there, uh, 24-7 rankings to the composite rankings. Um, and he's been crystal balled from here to back to Ohio State um, with, you know, pretty significant names, uh, pretty significant uh, confidence rankings on those. Um, I would, uh, dare I say it, Kyle, it, it feels like when, not if. Feels like when not if for Dylan Rayola. So again, we're not doing a mock class for 2024, but if we were, uh, this would probably be where I was starting. All right. Who else? Who else? If if Ohio State doesn't isn't able to get uh, Dylan, who who else is uh, State looking at? Quarterback wise. Yes. Oh, honestly, I've stopped looking. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> let me let me let me go into the cheat sheet. I'm going to pull up cheat sheet. Uh, if you right. want another quarterback name, I'll give you another quarterback name. Uh, let me go to my 2024 tab on the cheat sheet. Um, uh, Adrian Posey. Uh, he is from Florida. Um, I, I feel like that's a name to keep an eye on. Um, again, I, I, I'm, I think Dylan Rayola at this point, I'm, I'm all in 2024. Ohio State quarterback Dylan Rayola, but if you wanted a if you wanted a third name, I'll give you Adrian Posey. All right, all right, awesome. Um, I'll just I'll just go down the list here, Jared. Uh, you have next uh, the defensive backs here, and you have here as a very very high probability out of Glenville High School. Yeah, yeah, Bryce Bryce West. Yeah, that that Glenville pipeline might be coming back up here soon. Uh, yeah, he is a cornerback from Cleveland, top 100 in the country, currently the number one player out of the state of Ohio. Um, some places just have him listed as a quote unquote athlete. Some places you're calling him a corner. I I think it's pretty safe to look at him as a corner right now. Um, and I. I Again, dare I say it, um, when not if. When not if for, for Bryce West. Mm -hmm. Dare okay. I say it. Yeah. Well, you're, you're talking about the pipeline Glenville, of Glenville High School. Yeah. There, it's been, been a bit dry of late. But there, has, but there are but... some great names. If you go, mm -hmm. if you jump in the Wayback Machine, there are some great names. Uh at great Ohio State players come from from Glenville. Yeah, and there there's been some really good high school football programs in the state of Ohio that's really mm -hmm. developed some great players in both Lakota high schools too as of recent years. Yeah, I mean Ohio State literally we uh in the mock class we we gave you for 2023 not long ago, we gave you like a when not if for um for a Ohio state offensive lineman uh, who has uh, since committed um, his name, of course is uh, I'm, I really struggle pronouncing his last name. So give me a second. I want to look at it. Um, his first name is Austin. His last name is Shreve Shreveld Shreveld. I, I really just can't. I really just can't. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I really just can't. I can't with the names. I'm terrible at the names. I apologize. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, no. I was, I was looking up some of uh, um, with eleven warriors and Lakota East and Lakota West have four yeah. players, four players committed to Buckeyes in the 2022 and 2023 class. There are, there are potentially more coming. Mm. Um. There are some really good names to keep an ice uh, an yes. eye on. Um, East West game <laughs> this year is going to be hype. Yeah, uh, there there are some. Uh, it's not ending. It's not ending anytime soon. I, I think there are um, some excellent offensive line prospects, specifically 
up in that area right now. Um, I don't, I don't know. I don't have a ton of them at this point, like as, as sure things. Um, there, there's also the, uh, St. Edwards, which I think is up in that area. Is it not? Um, in, yeah, it's up in that same area though, right? Up in Cleveland and Lakota. Um, that that's another place. Again, if you're looking, oh, Lakota's near you. I'm I'm confused. Then that's my fault. Um, okay, yeah, the I you know I'm confusing Lakota and Saint Edwards is what I'm doing right now. Yeah, I'm not the best with the high schools, but yeah, the <laughs> again, if you're looking for another high school where there's potentially a whole lot, and I mean a whole lot of uh, talent that could be coming to Ohio State, check out Saint Edwards which is up in the Cleveland area. Um, we could start with Ben Roebuck, um, who is on this list of 2024 players. Um, he is an offensive tackle, again, uh, out of St. Edwards up in Lakeland, Ohio, which, again, is like the greater Cleveland area. Um, and like I said, there's also Devontae Armstrong and Dante Armstrong, who are twins, uh, who also play for St. Edwards, uh, Ohio State could potentially. And again, like I. At this point, I feel very confident that Ben Roebuck is absolutely an Ohio State level player. Um, the Armstrong brothers, I, I think we have to keep an eye on at this point to to sort of determine if they're like Ohio State level or not. Um but I think at this point, you know, they, they, they're, they're not names. I'm like, I don't even have them officially on the list for this episode. I don't have them on that list yet, but they are two names to watch again. They're teammates of Ben Roebuck. Uh, it's just some names to keep an eye on. Gotcha. Kyle, well, I already started talking about offensive linemen. Do you want to go back to the defensive backs where we started? Or do you want me to give you one more offensive line name to keep an eye on? Sure. Give, give us one more for the defensive backs here. Okay, we're going back to the defensive backs. Um, bit of a guy guy on the rise right now, uh, Aaron Scott. Uh, he's out of Springfield, Ohio. If you look at his rankings right now, not like huge, fantastic numbers yet. But we all we all know that like uh, Ohio players are. Does every state have a Springfield? Uh, just about. <laughs> um, not super high in the rankings yet, but. Ohio kids are always lit risers in the rankings. He has a lot of offers, uh, including places like Michigan and Notre Dame, a lot of the regional powerhouses. Um, keep an eye on Aaron Scott. Uh, I think another defensive back out of the state of Ohio uh, who could very well be in this recruiting class. All right. Good stuff. Is there a Springfield Hawaii gangland? I feel like there's not. I, I, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna bet there's not. I'm also gonna say there's not one in Alaska. Do I know? No, I don't. But I'm still gonna go ahead and say it. All right, let's go back to uh, let's go back to offensive linemen. You mentioned uh, mentioned Ben. Kyle, Roebuck. I have two more uh, defensive backs. Oh, you do. Oh, I said one. Oh, okay. Well, the other <laughs> guys are more. safeties. <laughs> the other guys are safeties. Gotcha. Okay. So I I those are the two corners I have to give you right now. I can tell you about a pair of safeties now. Uh, Guy by the name of Noah Dixon. Uh, he's from LaGrange, Georgia, uh, just outside the top 100, uh, according to the composite ranking. Um, we're super early in this recruiting bit yet. So, you know, let's not let's not go crazy like but uh, absolutely a name to keep an eye on could absolutely be in this class, but feels very early um, at this point to be making any sort of bold predictions. All right, good stuff. And the right. last defensive back on the list is Corin Gibson. I feel a little bit better about Corin Gibson. He's out of Lancaster, Texas. Um, he's ranked pretty comparably with Noah Dixon, especially at this early stage of the recruiting. Uh, Noah Dixon's ranked a little bit higher. Not enough for me to get worked up about, again, because this is the 2024 class and we're so, so early in this cycle. Uh, so at this point, Considering how early we are in the cycle, they're pretty comp comparably ranked. 
Um, and I feel like Corin Gibson, I'm giving a bit of an edge to as far as likeliness that they end up in this class. Uh, no right. Springfield, Alaska, Arizona, Connecticut, Hawaii, Iowa, Kansas, Montana, Nevada, New Mexico, North Dakota, Oklahoma, Rhode Island, Utah, Washington, or Wyoming. Those, that is your Springfield uh, fact for the day. Gangland, I do have to ask why uh, North Dakota has an asterisk on it. That's puzzling for me. All right. All right. You, what? What, what, you, you want me to good? hit up that? You want me to hit up the last offensive line name? Yeah, I was just saying, let's 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 finish off the offensive lineman. Luke Hamilton, uh, once again going back to the Cleveland area. He is from Avon, Ohio. Um, number five in the state, um, one of uh, top ten offensive tackle in the entire country, um, and just outside that top two hundred overall. Again, Ohio kids tend to be late risers in these rankings, so. The so uh, I think considering he's pretty high as is, could even see that bounce up a little bit more. Again, Cleveland kid feels like a high probability for Ohio State, um, but that's just me saying that because mostly because he's a Cleveland kid, uh, he's a top ranked prospect in the state of Ohio. Who knows? Uh, Notre Dame is certainly making inroads in the state right now. Always something to keep an eye on with all of the Ohio guys that they have on their coaching staff. Uh, but uh, keep an eye on Luke Hamilton. Again, he's from Avon, Ohio, which is you know Cleveland area. Good stuff. North Dakota has a Springfield, but it's empty on the map. I don't know what that means. Is it like a paper town? Paper Town reference for any of you guys who are John Green fans. Um, it's just called Springfield. Okay. Uh, <laughs> we're moving <laughs> forward. Kyle, where right. do you want to go next? Let's, let's, let's go on the opposite side. Let's go with the defensive linemen here. Defensive linemen. Um, some big names, Kyle, some big names uh, from around the country currently on Ohio State's radar. Uh, uh, obviously, Ohio is a very, uh, Ohio State rather, is a uh, big national player, especially in the edge rushing area for defensive linemen. So two edge rushers, keep an eye on. Um, one out of Florida, his name is Booker Pickett Jr. Uh, big prospect. Um, not literally he's, he's only like 200 pounds right now, but again, these are 2024 kids. <laughs> yes. They're they're all a little underweight right now. Um, uh, but he is six, three. So a lot of room yet on that frame. Uh, but top 100 kid all around top 10 edge player, uh, certainly will be a, an impact player. So it would seem, and Ohio state has a good early relationship with him. Um, Another edge player, but this time out of Ohio, uh, will be Elias Rudolph, uh, Gangland. This he is from the Cincinnati area. There you go, uh, out of the Taft High School. Um, top five player in the state of Ohio, top twenty edge player in the country, uh, and a just about uh, two hundred ranked overall. Uh, again, we're talking about like the Cincinnati area, and we're talking about. Notre Dame, like Notre Dame's always been a player in the Cincinnati area. Um, Kingland, with his expert analysis of the Cincinnati uh, recruiting scene, says crazy shit goes down at Taft. I'm just going to believe you because I don't know. Uh, but yeah, he is, like I said, 2024 kid, uh, big edge rusher, 6'4", 220. Again, class of 2024 kid. Um, the... Uh, yeah, so yeah, that, that that's what I got in that. Oh, I was saying uh, Notre Dame. That's what I was saying. Always keep an eye on yeah. Notre Dame, especially, again, like they've always had good inroads in Cincinnati. They have for a very long time. Uh, that should only be getting, from Ohio State's perspective, worse uh, I I over the next couple years. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go to wide receivers. Which elite wide receiver will Ohio State get this year or in 2024? Man, do I have some names for you? Let's start with Jeremiah Smith. Jeremiah Smith is literally the best wide receiver in the country. 
Uh, I don't think anyone at this point is disputing that. Um, already has uh, three. I believe it is three crystal balls already placing him to Ohio State. Uh, Ohio State has big inroads here. Um, he is from the Madonna Prep Academy in Florida. Uh, again, that's a place uh, Ohio State has like the singer. I mean, Jeremiah Smith. That's a two very common names. Um, yeah, but it's the... Yeah. Uh, oh, Madonna. Yeah. So it's a, it's a Catholic school. See, Madonna was a Catholic thing for a very, very long time before it was a pop singer thing. <laughs> um, yeah, he is, uh, like I said, uh, all sorts of crystal balls already placing him to Ohio State. He is, by anyone's account, the best wide receiver in the entire 2024 class at this point. Um, I'm not going to I'm not going to get overly bold here to start saying when not if um I, i'm not i'm not going that far but uh it's uh, a great start in this recruiting cycle for sure uh next kyle one of the best athletes okay he's one of the best wide receivers in the class but it, it really needs to be noted however that He's really mostly being listed as a athlete at this point because he might be a defensive back. He might be a defensive back. Um, I'm currently cur um, mentally listing him as a wide receiver. I, I do think that's probably where he ends up. But don't be surprised if Josiah Trader does end up being a defensive back instead. I'm currently listing him as a wide receiver, but that that could change. Bottom line is, though, is he's an amazing athlete. Number four player uh, ranked in the entire country, according to the composite. Um, he is from the Miami, Florida area. So for those of you who go crazy for those South Florida kids, there you go. Josiah Trader. Um, Again, might be a wide receiver, might be a might be a corner, but we'll we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder who he's talking about. Not not one of our patrons. <laughs> <laughs> um last wide receiver name from Kyle. Once again, going to the state of the Florida, and we're going back to a uh, Catholic school, uh different Catholic school this time, however. Um St. Thomas Aquinas. Um his name is Earl Cup. Uh, he is not as highly ranked as the other two guys, but as Brian Hartline has already told us, he doesn't care. So there you go. Um, get him a tea sponsor. Oh, Earl Cup. That's a good call. We, we, are, we, are we already giving him the... He has to come to Ohio State too, because then he's Earl Gray. You can't num not come to Ohio State. Scarlet and Earl Grey Cup. It writes itself. It writes itself. I like it. Uh, do note that uh, Earl's parents are from yep. Canton, Canton I, Ohio as well. You know, I was getting there until I, I got distracted by a good you, T you, reference. <laughs> you get distracted easily, Jared. <laughs> I, 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 I just... I, I got a good tea joke in the chat and I had to respond to it. All right. Uh, linebackers. Let's, let's go with the linebackers here. I, I see. I see you have two names here. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, two big names to keep an eye on at this point. Um, by the way, I included one guy here. I, I don't necessarily, he's an athlete. Uh, so I could be mistaken, uh, but I just placed him there. Cause that's, that's where his brother was at least recruited to or from or for whatever prepositional phrase you want to use there. Uh, his name's Garrett Stover. Yes. Yes. The brother of, um, currently listed as an athlete because of course, like we don't even know where his brother plays yet at this point. Right. So, <laughs> so of course Garrett's going to be listed as an athlete. Uh, but if you mistake him for his brother, you, I would forgive you, uh, you know, six, two, 200 pounds. Again, 
six two two uh six two two hundred pounds as a class of twenty twenty four kid obviously a, a long way to go there uh he's not currently pulling up a uh, composite score but his twenty four seven sports score is very high um pretty high um inside the top three hundred um top ten player in the state of Ohio um the one I will say true linebacker name I have to give you today will be Sammy Brown. Sammy Brown is from Jefferson, Georgia, top 10 player in the country. I don't, I don't even think I need to say anything past that. Right. Um, still very early in this recruitment, a highly, highly competitive recruitment. Of course it is. He's a top 10 player, uh, mm-hmm. but Ohio state's in good position early, but it's early. Yep. All right. The last position that you have on here, we can't, we can't have a, uh, a a discussion about about uh, recruits without talking about the tight ends, Jared. Of course. And by the way, like, should we go ahead and just maybe, maybe Kyle, should we just include Garrett Stover here as well? <laughs> I, Might I as well know. for every position. Just for every position, there. he might be a quarterback. For all we know, we don't know. Um, but seriously, uh. Tavion Galloway, uh, he's from Chillicothe, Ohio. Um, and, and for anyone who's asking, I don't think so. I don't think so. If, you, if you're asking, if you're asking the question, no, I do not think there is any relation there. Uh, tight end, 6'5", 230. Uh, again, class 2024 kid. Uh, according to the 24-7 sports proper rankings, he's a top 100 player, top five tight end. And the number one player from the state of Ohio. That's a big That's, kid. Jeez. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, according again to the 24 seven proper rankings, he's higher ranked than Bryce West at this point. Um, composite gives the number one spot to Bryce West, the 24 seven sports proper rankings, giving it to Galloway at this point. Uh, but, you know, we can ob- obviously we can sort of talk about them, think about them as similarly ranked players at the very least. Um, Again, including him on the list, if for no other reason than like he's he's a kid from Chillicothe, Ohio. Um, I, I don't necessarily have a ton of inside information here as far as like his specific relationship with Ohio State at this point. Um, again, keep your eye on your Notre Dames and your Michigans and your other regional powers of the world as potential um, landing spots for Galloway other than Ohio State. Um, but yeah, he's obviously one of the best players in the state for this recruiting cycle. Um, so obviously a name to, at the very least, keep an eye on. Sounds good. Any other names, Jared, that you have here that you want to mention here? Or is that, uh, you see the notes. I mean, I, I have an, a, literally a spreadsheet filled with, with guys. Um, but the, the guys who I wanted to talk about, I put in the notes. So I, I think, I think we're good. Uh, you okay. even forced, you even forced me to pull out a couple of names from the spreadsheet that I didn't include in the notes. So. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Sounds good. And again, 2024 early, early on, but man, some, some big names to definitely keep an eye out um, in the coming months and year. Absolutely. Um, Wow, well, over a year. Like <laughs> these again, 2024 recruits. So we'll some of the 2022 kids aren't even on campus yet. So just yeah. just to sort of put that in perspective for everyone, a good number of the 2022 kids aren't even in Columbus yet. So yeah, yeah that, that's how far out we're talking here. Mm-hmm. All right, Jared. I think I think that's it. Let's go and call this call this an episode here. Absolutely. Um, come join the Discord server, uh, especially if you're if you're a patron. We actually have uh, one of our restricted channels, our patron only channels, um, is a recruiting chat channel. Um, but that being said, we still have an Ohio State channel in there that is open to anyone who wants to join it. Discord dot And I, I'm not going to stop you from talking about recruiting in there. So. Uh, that's just not sort of where we put our personal tidbits as much, but yeah, uh, come, come hang out on a discord server, discord.thesloopcast.com. Um, and if you want to help us out financially, 
uh, patreon.thesloopcast.com. Uh, $3 a month gives you access to all the digital content you could possibly want. It gives you the ability to watch us record these lives. Watch us record these live. Uh, join us down in the live chat like Gangland and Austin have this episode. Um, gives you early access to... Hey, Gangland. Uh, gives you early access to episodes. We release them, you know, sometimes up to a day early. Uh, for our Patreon people. And there's the super secret Wednesday episode where Kyle and I just act like children for an hour and everyone in everyone, every one of our patrons are like, Hey, this is actually your best show. So <laughs> uh, get access to the super secret uh, sleep cats only episode, which we uh, do on Wednesdays, all of that for $3 a month. How could you go wrong? So, um, Kyle, do you have anything in Kyle's corner? I do not. The that's a good, that's a fine answer. I'm not, a, I'm not mad at that answer. The crew, crew's still playing, so that's. <laughs> You're reporting on a so. live soccer game, <laughs> on an episode that's not going to come out for like three days. That's 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 Kyle. I would have much preferred you said nothing. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay. Nope. I got nothing. I got nothing. <laughs> Live updates of a sat of a soccer game on a football podcast on a sat a soccer game happening on a Saturday night on an episode that's not going to come out till Tuesday. <laughs> Take us away, Jared. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just like on Monday, tonight's ending music will be brought to you by uh, a singer songwriter whose roots are in Cincinnati. His name is Saint Lennox. That's his stage name, anyway. <coughs> Ooh, bad time to cough. I could have held out for like one more minute, but I couldn't. Uh, so yeah, the his name is Saint Lennox. So stay tuned for that. If you're if you're listening to us, if you're on the audio version of the podcast, all you have to do is nothing. Just stay tuned. You hear the music. If you're watching us on YouTube, check the show notes. Uh, there'll be a link to the song in the show notes. So with all of that being said, I'd like to encourage everyone to drink local beer, listen to local music, and of course, support your local podcasters. Once again, this is St. Lennox.